Hey everyone and welcome. I am super excited for today's video because I'm going to be introducing you to the Simple Ledger protocol and more importantly and more exciting, I'm going to be showing you how to create your own cryptocurrency token with a very easy to use method, very fast, very cheap. So let's jump right into it. What is the Simple Ledger protocol and why does it matter? So let's take a step back and think about cryptocurrency. You've heard of cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Ethereum, basic attention token. We have cryptocurrencies and then we have a blockchain. So if we think about Ethereum blockchain, that is ERC20 type tokens, that is ETH, right? So Ethereum is the underlying blockchain. Now, ETH is the default cryptocurrency that's used to fuel the Ethereum blockchain. However, there's other cryptocurrencies that run on top of the Ethereum blockchain. So we have basic attention token, we have DAI, we have uh, a variety of different cryptocurrencies that run on top of this blockchain. So the blockchain is like the environment in which these cryptocurrencies basically operate. Now, the vast majority of cryptocurrencies that are issued, our new cryptocurrencies, are running on top of the Ethereum blockchain. So it's, it's kind of the default standard at this point. It's uh, what most cryptocurrencies are. So with that being said, why would you want to break with tradition and use the simple ledger protocol and the Bitcoin Cash blockchain to generate your own cryptocurrency? Now, the first reason that I would say is because it is very, very, very simple. So if we look at the steps required to create an ERC-20 type token on the Ethereum blockchain. There is a lot of stuff that you have to do. There's coding that's involved. You have to know a little bit of solidity. You have to be able to build these contracts, right? So it's a little bit more complicated, but another problem with ERC-20 and the Ethereum blockchain is that transaction fees can be quite high. So we see that the transaction fee recently spiked today to about 11 cents per transfer or 18 cents if you want it to go through a little bit faster. Now, this is still worlds better than sending a bank wire transfer or something like that. However, if we look at the Bitcoin Cash transaction fees, we see that the transaction fee for Bitcoin Cash is 0 0.0012 cents, so less than a fraction of a cent to send a transfer. So. With Bitcoin Cash, you can send tokens a lot uh, more efficiently. You can send them at a lower cost. That's the good thing. So the plus side is it's easier to create your token and it's a lot cheaper to send your token. Now let's also look at the bad things. The bad things is that block times are considerably longer. So the average block time on the Ethereum blockchain is around 15 seconds as a general rule. The Bitcoin cash time is around 10 minutes. So we're talking 15 seconds versus 10 minutes. So very, very uh, different there, right? There's a considerably longer length to send a transaction through the Bitcoin cash blockchain. So there's, there's benefits, there's advantages to each. And one more disadvantage I would say about creating on the Bitcoin cash blockchain is that obviously it's not going to be an ERC-20 type token. So ERC-20, Ethereum being kind of like the de facto standard, anyone that's involved with any kind of cryptocurrency is probably going to have a wallet that supports ERC-20. You're going to have Mu, you're going to have uh, MetaMask, you're going to have the Engine cryptocurrency wallet. Any of these wallets are going to support ERC-20. Now, if we go to MetaMask and let's suppose we try to add a new token, let's go down here and let's try and add Bitcoin Cash, BCH. It's not going to appear because it's not supported. So if you're trying to use a Bitcoin Cash or an SLP type uh, cryptocurrency token, your users are going to have to have a wallet that supports Bitcoin Cash and the SLP uh, protocol. So that's something to keep in mind. It's not a huge issue because there are free wallets that support this, but if you're trying to cater to the vast majority of users and they're using ERC-20 only, they are going to have to go through an additional step to adopt your token. So that being said, there are two wallets that you can use. Now, the first of these is going to be called the Electron Cryptocurrency Wallet. Now, Electron Cryptocurrency Wallet is a wallet that you can download and install on your desktop or you can do it on a mobile app. If you want more of a MetaMask-like uh, experience, you can use the Badger Cryptocurrency Wallet, which is just an add-in for, um, for Brave or for Chrome. So let's go ahead, and what I want to do is I want to show you the Electron Cryptocurrency Wallet. 
So when we go here, we're going to go to downloads, and there's something that you need to be aware of. Do not just click the first download. There's nothing wrong with this download. It just doesn't offer the SLP uh, support. So we want to specifically download the SLP edition. I've already downloaded it. I'm not going to walk you through installing it. You literally just click through the slides. Um, you write down your seed phrase. You back it up. Not a whole lot to talk about there. So once you create that, you are going to go to this. And when you're in the wallet, obviously you can send, you can receive funds. But for our purposes, we're wanting to create our own cryptocurrency token. So we've installed Electron Cash SLP Edition. That's the SLP right there. And we see that we have to have a little bit of Bitcoin Cash in the wallet itself. Now, you don't need a whole lot of Bitcoin Cash. You can make do with anywhere from like 10 to 15 cents worth of Bitcoin Cash to create your cryptocurrency. So very cheap. Um, but make sure you send it in and to receive funds you have to be a little bit uh, a little bit careful because there's a token address and there's a Bitcoin cash address so when you're trying to receive uh, receive your Bitcoin cash to kind of get your wallet started you want to make sure that you click on show Bitcoin cash address and then you can either send it through uh, the text string or by scanning this QR code so we want to create a token and we're going to go to tokens and we're going to select create new token and we want this to be the Rob token alright and the symbol is going to be R O B. The document URL, document hash, we do not need that. We're going to go with 10 decimal. We'll go, we'll go with two decimal places. Token quantity. Now, this is how much we want to mint of this cryptocurrency. So this is basically the the amount of crypto that's ever going to be issued for this. So if we didn't want it to be fixed, we could uncheck this box, but we do want it to be fixed and we're going to say that there can only ever be 100 thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand, million, ten million, hundred million. There can only ever be one uh, one billion rob tokens. So all we have to do now is create a new token. And one last thing before I move on. This token receiver address, see how it says it ends in two, four, three Yankee. If we go to our addresses, we want to make sure that that is going to be the same. So show token address 243 Yankee. So that those tokens are going to be going into our wallet. So let's go right back here and make sure everything is correct. We're going to click create new token and we need to enter the password for the wallet. And the SLP token is created. So now if we go to our tokens, we are going to see that we have these 1 billion ROB tokens. Now from here we're going to have to wait for the block to confirm and then we will come back and we will show you how to send them to another. Okay so now we have created our token and what we want to do is we want to send these tokens to another address. So this could be paying someone in ROB tokens, this could be uh, someone paid us with ETH, now we're sending them uh, some new token that we've created, whatever the case is, we basically want to send these tokens to someone for whatever purpose. So we're going to use the example of the Badger wallet and we're going to click on it and we want to go to menu and we can see that there's two separate ones. The first one is a Bitcoin cash address. So this will receive Bitcoin cash. The second one is the simple ledger uh, system. So what we want to do is we want to copy this to the clipboard, make sure you get that bottom one and we're going to want to paste it into here. It's already the correct thing. We will describe this. We're going to say we're sending one Rob token to that address. We're going to do a fee of let's see here two satoshis per byte we're going to click send we're going to have to enter our password and payment is going to be sent so let's wait on this to process and we will see what happens all right so there we go we have one rob token in our badger cryptocurrency wallet and i know at this point there's really no logic or there's really nothing behind the rob token it's just a token that i kind of created for demonstration purposes but there are a variety of different reasons that you could need to create your own cryptocurrency token and as i showed you the simple ledger protocol offers a very cheap very easy way to do this there are some disadvantages of using slp over 
Super ERC-20 and Ethereum. However, there's also some advantages. It's going to be much cheaper to send and easier to create. The drawbacks, you're going to have to install a SLP supported wallet and the block times are going to be considerably longer. So in the end, even if you just want to create your own cryptocurrency just for fun or just, just because you can, it's a great easy way to do that. I hope you all found the video useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.